Hi there. Uh, I'm going to make a small video here uh, to show you guys a little bit of uh, my own uh, open source based uh, Beam workflow here. Um, just a bit of an illustration of how I make it work here and uh, explain, show you, showcase a little bit of all the, the applications that I'm using here. Um, so let me just wipe this away. Um, so basically, um, my desktop here is a Linux desktop. Um, I really like Linux a lot because it's. Uh, I don't need to tell you how uh, of all the problems with using uh, Windows or, or Mac. If you are using one of these uh, applications, uh, desktops, you, you already know. <laughs> um, Linux is a bit a bit hard to 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 grasp and to to start using, but after a while it's just just the same. You have explorers, you have applications, uh, and that's it. And you have the same applications, browser, file manager, which is this one. You have hundreds of different to choose from. Uh, even the, the graphical uh, area, you you can change. I'm using quite an alternative here called Flexbox but you have like uh, 10 or 15 different desktops to, to choose from one uh, each with, with its own uh, aspect a, 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 and so forth uh, but what I'm going to show you today uh, works on all platforms um, so you don't need to use Linux to, to use open source software uh, everything I will show today uh, works the same exact same way and exists the same way on Windows and, and Mac as well. So you can really, really, really go step by step and and build yourself an open source uh, workflow. Uh, and at the end, when everything is done, you can maybe switch to to, to Linux if you if you like. But uh, it's absolutely not needed, and it can be done much much later on. So basically, my uh, architecture or being based applications that I mostly use are those here. Um, this is my file explorer. Uh, this is a terminal in Linux. You do a lot of stuff in, in the terminal. It's quite easier and faster and way faster than and clearer than, than sometimes than using than clicking with your mouse and, and stuff. Uh, but I'm not going to show this right now. Um, the main application I use for Bing, of course, is FreeCAD. Uh, that's the application I work with, um, that I'm developing, helping to develop. I'm one of its main developers. So of course, this is my main piece uh, in, in the stack. Um, basically, for me, FreeCAD is the, the middle uh, application between between everything uh, you can draw 2d in it you can do Bing in it well if, if you follow this blog for for a uh, time you, you already know about FreeCAD and if you don't um, I will put below this video um, a couple of links where you can learn more about it and, and see how it can be used for, for Bing for yourself uh, with FreeCAD you can draw in 2D, you can model things in 3D which are uh, all um, beam objects with beam attributes and, and everything. You can export this to, um, to the IFC file format um, which allows you to um, to open it, to open your your stuff in other Beam applications such as Revit or ArchiCAD, um, FreeCAD is really the, the main piece uh, of a Beam workflow, uh, uh, an open source based Beam Beam workflow. Uh, another piece which I really really like, which is like let's say my my first love in, in the open source world, is Blender. Uh, Blender is not basically a Beam application. Uh, Blender is a 3D modeling application um, like um, like a 3D Studio Max or that kind of uh, that kind of application uh, but um, unlike uh, FreeCAD where you model very precise things um, 
in Blender is a fast application. So sometimes you really want to do stuff in Freka in Blender because it's much faster than, than in FreeCAD. And uh, it doesn't have currently all the Bing features of FreeCAD, but this is changing because lots of people are working on this. Uh, so it might one day uh, become really a, a full features Bing application and that they might not be so far. Um, but uh, you have the advantage of speed and uh, it's like when you draw by hand you know um, sometimes uh, your your hand goes faster than than your mind and it's when you look at your drawing that you understand what your own ID was and you can do that in blender you can do very get, you can model very fast in, in blender and um, so this is an important piece for an, architectural workflow. Sometimes you just have to use Blender to test ideas and when it's done you can really quite easily uh, use these objects and export them to, to a more precise application such as, as FreeCAD. And if you took um, care of modeling precisely these dimensions and everything, um, it translates very easily into a full feature beam model. Also, there is the advantage that um, Blender um, is also a rendering application. It can uh, render things with shadows and everything and uh, make very nice Im Im images uh, from a model, which is like the, the, an important part as, as well. Um, other application I still have is draft site. Draft site. Um, this is draft site here. I still have it installed. Uh, it's not open source. It's just free to use. Uh, you don't pay anything to use it, but it's not open source. Uh, and it's going to stop being free at the end of this year. So I still have it here, but I'm not using it anymore. Uh, the main advantage draft site is like an AutoCAD clone. Uh, it really works exactly like AutoCAD. Uh, so it's convenient because you just find yourself, if you know uh, AutoCAD, you just find yourself in the same a similar application. Uh, anyway, it works on all platforms, um, Windows, uh, Mac and Linux, and um, it might be interesting to you, uh, actually, um, because uh, it's uh, much cheaper than, than AutoCAD, and it basically for me it does exactly the same job. Uh, another application that I really like is QCAD. QCAD is here. Uh, QCAD has two versions, an open source one and a paid one. Uh, but I really like that this is developed basically by one guy and he is really trying a lot to, to um, make this model survive, you know, be able to do an open source project and still be able to live uh, on it. Uh, QCAD is a 2D drawing application. Uh, if you pay the version, which is really, really cheap, I don't remember, but it's something like a couple of, not even 100 euro per, per year. And, and then you have the WG support, um, the, the open source version um, doesn't have DWG uh, support. That's the difference between basically the difference between the two versions. And uh, you'll see it, it really does a good job. It works. It has uh, support for uh, everything y you need. Um, it's a perfect open source replacement um, of, of a 2D application li like AutoCAD. It has layers, it, uh, it has blocks, it has basically everything you need just a couple of little small difference and it ha doesn't have all the uh, dimension configuration styles etc your dimension have a little bit less options um, it, it does have uh, two type fonts this is because the, this drawing doesn't use them but uh, it has all the nice features that you need to make it really uh, good looking drawings um, and you can also uh, use the open source version and add the, the 
paid plugin to it to, to have uh, the WG support on the open source version. So it's quite quite flexible, and uh, I think we still need to the drawing applications for some time. Uh, and this is for me. This is perfect. Uh, I'm stopping you to use a draft site because it's not going to stay free. And this is um, I find this better, and I, I find it much better to pay something to a guy who's really developing something than to a company who um, don't even know uh, what they do with this, uh, how long they will keep it running, etc. Et uh, so that's QCAD. Um, what else do I use a lot? This is the GIMP. Uh, the GIMP is a uh, image editing application, just like uh, Photoshop, and it's a bit different than Photoshop, but it just does the the job so well. Um, uh, you, it's just an, an image editor. It has layers. It has all the tools you have in. Um, in Photoshop, uh, it has effects, uh, everything. Um, what else? Um, this is Inkscape. This was the GIMP, and this is now Inkscape. Uh, Inkscape is a vector uh, editing application. Uh, so basically, you have a sheet, you draw shapes, um, you can change its shapes. Uh, and uh, change properties. Um, you understood. Uh, the great thing is that uh, its main file format is SVG. This is you can see here the contents. Uh, this is my rectangle uh, inside the layer, uh, etc. Uh, it's really a text-based uh, format. It's what FreeCAD use a lot also as 2D output, and um, because it's really you, you see it by yourself. It's in, uh, understandable. A machine can do a lot of things with, with this. Um, so it's a really a great, great format uh, for 2D outputs, and it translates to PDF like perfectly. Um, so, so uh, SVG is uh, really what we should use instead of DWG or DXF. Uh, it's a pity that it's not uh, more widespread, but. Um, so here it is. Um, another application that is very important uh, for me is uh, IFC++. IFC++ is an IFC file viewer. Uh, this is it. Um, basically, it's a very simple viewer. This is the model that I had open in FreeCAD that it exported to IFC. Uh, it really loads very large files in seconds then you can see basically the contents of, of the file uh, that's basically all of it uh, you cannot see more uh, advanced properties of IFC elements etc but this is open source uh, it just takes someone to go there and code a little bit and there would be more uh, to, to IFC++ what I really like in it is that it's very simple very fast and does a very simple job at uh, parsing IFC files and um, if it finds uh, defects it will tell you uh, usually uh, if it looks right in IFC++ um, I consider the file is good um, so I, I know uh, that the file I exported uh, from FreeCAD for example is good enough um, if it doesn't import correctly um, in another application, probably the problem is in the not in the other application and not in my IFC file. Um, so I all, all the time I, I use it to check what there is in my IFC file uh, to see if if there is a problem, if there is some object that, that's not at the correct place. Uh, I can see it here. Um, so I use this all the time and I open files all the time with this, uh, etc. Another cool application, really useful one, is where is it? Uh, QGIS. Um, this is an amazing application. Uh, it's all far f further than what we need uh, usually in with uh, with BIM. Uh, but basically, what I do with it uh, is to take um, 
data. Uh, you see, some applications don't use my, my dark team here when uh, that's a Linux problem. Um, happens all the time. Uh, what you do with, with QGIS uh, basically is um, you are able to take Earth data, for example, uh, geographic data from um, websites, from Google Earth, from OpenStreetMaps, or even from those GIS websites that more and more cities are, um, are building. Imported GIS data here and have precise uh, information uh, over, for example, terrain uh, limits, uh, height points, uh, what features are available there, like if there are gas lines, uh, water lines, uh, sewer lines, everything usually, the, the more and more uh, cities are um, making available. You can import all these layers in, in this application, uh, all these becomes like layers in, in, a, in a CAD file, and you can just export this as whatever you, you want, uh, 2D uh, CAD files or uh, or even 3D 3D stuff, and it can like uh, create uh, level curves and all the stuff, all that kind of stuff from satellite image. Um, there are lots of things you can do, and lots of tutorials on, on the internet uh, to use QGIS. Um, what else? Yeah, I have a lot of stuff here. Uh, this one is cool. Um, Sweet Home 3D is an application that's not made for um, professionals. It's made for people who are not into being. And I really like it because it's so simple, you know. These are walls. I can put some furniture and this is really easy for uh, lay people, people who are not into, into BIM, to, to design some, some stuff. I've seen uh, people design really design their own house, you know, without, uh, without knowing anything about, about BIM. And this all can be used. This can be exported to applications like um, Blender or even FreeCAD and turned into a beam, a valid beam model. So this is a great little tool to, to know, and it would make you a kind of uh, sheets uh, with quantities, models, even plans. You can put. I think you can put dimensions in in, in this. Uh, yeah, so this is really a very interesting tool, uh, even if it's not really usable for directly for Bing, it's a connection with, with your client, which is really interesting, and that can very easily uh, be turned into uh, a Bing model. Uh, that's basically here, Labor Office, uh, this is an office suite that also works on, on um, all other platforms. Uh, you have lots of these uh, PDF viewers and everything, all those little applications that you need to, to uh, transform PDF files. Um, lot, lots, 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 lots of, of stuff. Um, and um, basically that's it. Uh, what I wanted here is basically to show you um, how you can really, really um, make uh, um, build yourself um, the, the same kind of environment that you have on on a Windows machine, um, only using free, free software. Um, um, if if you use, of course, if you use uh, Linux, you have a, like a super one. Uh, for example, all these applications here, uh, if they are installed through uh, your um, main Linux distribution, they are kept updated automatically by the application, the same way as it happens on your phone. Uh, the system will just check and, and update applications whenever there is a new version. 
a couple of applications that I have here, like Blender and FreeCAD, for example, I compile myself uh, a, a new version. All the orders, they are kept updated by the system. Um, you can th th begin to have tools to do that on, on Windows as well. Um, but really, uh, like, um, using open source software gives you a kind of um, extra advantage everywhere. Um, you don't have all the all-in-one stuff, as you see, uh, I have to do a lot, use a lot of applications. Uh, you always switch from one to the other and that kind of stuff. But this can become an advantage as well. You, after a while, you don't really lose time with this. Um, you, you just, uh, it helps you to, to um, check for errors, to make sure your files have all the stuff they need, uh, etc. And so that's it for now. I hope you liked. I hope uh, this was useful. And anything, any question, leave me some comments under the video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.